Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday and thank you so, so much for joining us for Flare Friday. So if you are new to the channel, every, uh, every Friday we are playing with uh, Flare. Okay, Flare every uh, Friday afternoon. So today uh, we are going to play with uh, Turbo Shot again. Okay, so Turbo Shot, I, if you guys don't know what Turbo Shot is, let me show you. Okay, let me flip my camera over. So. So last year, last January 2020, actually, it's been a while, James Hopman did, uh, let's see, the D, D Science Just Reinvent the Espresso. So this is based on the news article. Actually, the science, I, I believe a couple of scientists come up with mathematic version of kind of like espresso recipe. Let's try to just dramatic each other for a time. And, uh, anyway. The actual paper. The, here's the actual paper right there. So this is the actual science paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link down below. If you guys are interested, you know, take a look because let me give you guys let me give you guys a summary of that the piece of paper there. So the theory behind that is they're going to. I mean. If you read a paper, you understand better than what I can explain to you. But it's turbo shot means it's faster extraction. So between seven and fifteen uh, extraction time at seven to fifteen seconds, that range instead of twenty-five to thirty seconds. And then come if you are, uh, we are going to use fifteen grams. So I'm going to be doing fifteen in about thirty gram out one to two ratio, maybe one to two point five ratio there. But I'm going to trying to keep. Uh, between 7 and 15 second range. So here's a kicker, okay? Because uh, based on the piece of paper, or based on the uh, science paper, they recommend around 6 bar of pressure. Unfortunately, none of my machine here do the 6 bar, except my Lapaboni or my Flare. Okay, Flare has the pressure gauge on it, so we can actually keep that uh, around 6 bar pressure to do the extraction. So so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, so we're gonna be again 15 gram in, around 30 gram out there, maybe 30 to 35 gram, and then we are going to try to keep under 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds. So, uh, by the way, if you have uh, any questions or comment, I got my computer set up in that corner so I can read your comment. So we have a Dylan's on. We got Justin and uh, oh, Dane is on as well. Also, Canadian coffee guy too. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. So let's get going. Okay. So let's get going. So if you are new to the Flare, so I'm using a uh, Flare Nia. Okay, and uh, I did some couple modification, couple upgrades, like pressure gauge, and also. Uh, just regular port filter as well instead of flow control. The flow control is more like kind of pressurized baskets. So uh, we're not going to do that. We are going to use a regular uh, filter basket. And the, ah, one, th one more thing. And then we are going to use the hand grinder as well. So let's do the hand grinder instead of the niche. Okay. So we are going to go all manual this afternoon. Okay. So I just got a, so this is the replacement. Okay. My older one was, I never can get the espresso grind size. But this one, I already tried it, definitely works. So I'm using a, a 15 click on this one, okay? And I got 15, uh, 15 gram here. Uh, so this is, I believe, a uh, Good Brothers Coffee. Kind of medium to dark, darker roast, so it's gonna be good. Okay. So let's see here. So I got 15 gram at 15 clicks. Because the last time I was grinding uh, coffee, it took me about 30 seconds. So let's find out how long it's going to take, grind 15 gram on using San Antonio Industry, the, the mid right hand grinder here, okay? I got my timer. So let's get going. So by the way, I hope you guys are having a good afternoon on Friday. It's pretty hot outside though. You know what? I can see why. Okay. 
if you are thinking about getting a hand grinder for your espresso don't okay too much work yeah it's a lot of work there unless we have a really big uh, grinder of the first set yeah I'm getting sweaty I'm into 45 seconds now okay I'm still going guys hold on I'm gonna meantime I'm gonna stop my water okay I'm at minute okay minute 10 you know I don't know about you guys but this is getting tiring okay okay so minute and 20 seconds folks okay to grind 15 gram so so definitely works that's good okay we have to shout out to David Park we have a newbie there all right okay I need to take a little rest goodness that was a lot of work okay so best way to, so there's a lot of different way to heat up your uh, water uh, water uh, filter here kind of like water reservoir okay what I like to do is I like to use the back of the I don't know what's this called uh, kind of uh, piston punch uh, push it in here so this is another way to uh, heat up your kind of water tank area like so okay you know what I'm gonna flip the let's get going here okay let's make let's give you guys a better view okay hold on Good, that's better there all right let's prepare our puck so right now this is still cold as well so if you can okay warm it up your filter basket too is it's again the if you're new to the flare flare is all about managing the heat okay obviously hotter is the better definitely hotter is the better there okay so I'm just gonna wipe it clean so right now water at boiling temperature like so it's about 15 gram By the way, if you have a, like WDT tool, this is a great time to use it. Okay. I'm using my uh, 3D puck rake here. Again, uh, we are going to use uh, today's recipe. It's going to be 15 gram in and 30 gram out between 7 and 15 seconds. Okay. So that's what we're trying to do. Okay. At this point, I'm going to use my Crema coffee products, Dushbio, and Temp. Okay. So now we have beautiful puck to work with. Let's not forget the top screen there. All right, let's put some shot here, folks. Just like so again we are going to yield at we are going to definitely measure the shot I'm going to start time when I see the first drop okay we are going to use the pressure gauge so again the six bar is right 
So that's five bar. The six bar is right there. So I'm pretty much low end of that espresso zone. So I'm trying to shoot for that range. Let's get well, let's get going here. Okay. Water is nice and hot. If you don't have a gooseneck, this is definitely handy to use. Get the scale calibrated, calibrated. Wait, and there we go. Okay, the, obviously the timer is wrong. Okay. I'm trying to shift for just consistent pressure for six bar pressure. I'm shooting for around 40 seconds. I'm sorry, about 30 gram there. Okay, definitely this shot is just regular traditional espresso here. I think the grinder saying is too fine. Okay. We're gonna shoot for 30 gram. And yeah, this is way too fine. There we go. Yeah, so again, so this shot is fail. But it's okay. I mean that's part of kind of learn how to use that machine and also rust piece as well okay so hold on a second here let's flip the camera over again okay. uh, comes to grinder setting that's very crucial okay okay hold on a second I i'm looking at your comments right now let's see here okay hold on a second is there a no master or something uh okay hold on a second Okay, so uh, let's try one more time, okay? So uh, right now I'm at 15, 15 click. I think that's too fine, okay? So which means I need to, yeah, I need to make a lot coarser. So right now I'm at 15. So maybe change to like 30 clicks. Let's double that. Maybe. But well, let's try this shot anyway. Okay. Smells pretty good. Actually, let's see here. You know, I'm missing. I'm usually a lot organized than this one. Man, I'm missing everywhere. Man, hold on a second, folks. I'm looking for my spoon. By the way, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I'm still missing my spoon. I'm, ju I'm, ju I'm just going to drink like this, straight up. Cheers. It's, a, yeah, it's not that great, guys. Yeah, it's not that great. Again, the gr uh, making espresso is all about uh, getting the right grinder size. So let's try one more time. Okay, let's try one more time. By the way, if you guys are watching this, after my live streaming, just skip it, okay? Just skip this portion. But if you guys are watching this one right now, you guys just have to stack with me for a little bit. Okay. So, so right now we are at 15 click. So as you saw, there's a lot, man, way too slow. So maybe, 
let's go 20. So we got 15. So now we're at 20 click because we want to be around between 7 and 15 seconds. You know what? Let's go 20. So let's go 25, okay? I don't know about you guys, but let's go 25. So right now we have 25 clicks. And we're still going to use uh, 15 gram as well. We're going to st stick with the 15, same recipe. Okay, here we go. By the way, if you guys are looking for like smaller scale, so this is another scale from Amazon. Works pretty good. Uh, only costs about 10 bucks. Okay. All right, so let's do one more time. The one bad thing about this Amazon scale, it's a little bit slow. So let's do 15 gram. Okay, here we go. So let's do 15. And then I'm gonna stop my water as well still. And also you get to see how I clean the flare as well, so that's good. By the way, if you are thinking about getting a flare, make sure to watch my videos on my channel. Okay, so let's try one more time. So last time it took us about a minute to grind 15 gram over a minute and 10 seconds. So since I changed our uh, grinder size, I bet you it's going to go much faster. Okay, so we are at what, 25 clicks? I'm gonna start the timer here. Okay. Okay. Oh, look like my wife is on as well. I'm gonna shout out to my wife. Okay. I'm at 25 seconds. I'm at 30 seconds right now. I'm at 40. Okay. Okay, so about 50 seconds, okay? So I save about 20 seconds using the uh, grinder size adjustment there. All right, okay, so this is ready. Let's change our cups. By the way, I mean, if you, again, if you are planning on getting a flare or any kind of manual espresso machines, make sure to spend the money on grinder, okay? I think a grinder is most, most important part of making espresso, so yeah. Okay, let me show you. So whenever you're dealing with like flare, make sure you have your garbage can ready, okay? Because it's, it's gonna get messy. Like you can see, everything is all overflowing. So, and also get your knock box ready as well. So this is a one or one part of you know kind of workflow for flare I don't like about I mean clean up process. Okay. That's it. Come right up. I'm just gonna give it one more quick rinse. You're gonna get our our Get ready for our second shot. Like so, let's see here. I think we are almost there. I 
I mean, again, I mean, if you guys like uh, tinkering with process, you know, adjusting it, the manual machine is is a lot of fun to use. But if you guys are watching this, man, this is too much work. You know what? I'm um, definitely look at your uh, semi-automatic uh, espresso machine for sure. Okay. All right. So I think we are almost ready. Okay. Our freshly ground coffee beans ready. Like so. Make sure if you have WDT tools, make sure you use it. Okay. Especially using the bottomless. This is going to help you a lot. Definitely read this the channeling for sure. Okay. I'm just going to distribute. Give it a good temp. Okay. Okay, I'm missing my screen. Hold on a second. By the way, I hope you guys like uh, this kind of video, okay? Uh, make sure you press like on your computer or your phone right now. I'm gonna hit up one more time. Okay, let's get going. Okay, water's ready. This is our second shot. Again, we are trying to shoot for around 30 gram. Okay, between seven and 15 seconds. I'm trying to shoot for six bar pressure. Here we go. Okay, I got 13 seconds, but we are doing around two bar pressure. Way too fast. You know what, guys? I have to say, okay. I'm doing turbo shot, okay? Any kind of like turbo shot with like manual express motion. Don't, don't do it because, I mean, as you saw, you have to be very precise with the grinder size, okay? So right now I'm at 25 click. So unless if you wanna spend a lot of time and waste a lot of coffee beans, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it using flare. So, I mean, if you guys are thinking about doing this shot on your flare, don't, okay? Let's try this, cheers. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty much a waste of time. Yeah, I, I have to say, don't. Coffee is mediocre, okay? I think, I think, I, well, I, ju I think it's Justin, Justin asked me to try this, right, Justin? Don't you, didn't you ask, you asked me on last Monday or so? Who, why don't you try a flare with a turbo shot? Yeah, you know what? Okay, so you guys saw me struggle with this, this shot. Coffee taste is not that great, okay? The flare is just, you know what, just dialed in just right, and you just get a good shot, okay? Don't mess with uh, the turbo shot or the scientific, mathematic version of, you know, new recipe, 
eh, okay, I try both ways. I try with my Bravo Brewster Express, uh, the uh, Bravo Brewster Pro. Pro give you that between like six and seven bar machine there, so I think it's fine. But man, for the wood flare, yeah, I won't recommend it. Okay, but that doesn't mean you know you, you know you don't you, you know if you guys want to try it at home, try and let me know in the comment section. Okay, let me know in the comment section that hey. You know, Hoon, I did it just right. So yeah, let me know. I love to hear from you as well. Okay. And uh, by the way, so every Friday we are going to play with the flares. So, I mean, I just, if you have some cool ideas you want me to show you on the, my uh, live streaming, just let me know. Okay. Just let me know. I mean, it's not like, you know, this channel is not a one and done channel. We try with the different copy recipes and uh, different, you know, different method to brew better coffee. So, if you have a better ideas, next time just let me know in the comment section, and then we go, we are going to try that next week as well. Okay. So let's see what's new. Uh, tomorrow morning, my live streaming, uh, we are going to go ahead dialed in DF64. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and then we go. Uh, let's dialed in on DF64 tomorrow morning, and then let's compare that. Okay. Let's com. I I don't want to say compare. I think that's the bad words, and then. Uh, and Sunday morning, I'm going to bring my niche. I'm going to bring my niche to my house. We are going to go side by side. Comparison between niche and uh, let's see what else. Uh, my DF64. So 64 millimeter flat bird versus 63 millimeter conical bird. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, it's going to be a lot of fun there. Let's see here. By the way, I'm going to shout out to Linda. So Linda's been busy making 3D prints. So I know she's going to make some really, really cool uh, stuff for her copy bar, okay? It's gonna be awesome. Okay, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday afternoon. Just make sure to press like on this video, okay? It's gonna be help, uh, help me with the ranking. And then, uh, what else? If you haven't subscribed my channel, make sure to do so, okay? Uh, and then I'm gonna see you guys. I think I'm gonna do Instagram Live right after this. So, by the way, if you haven't followed me on uh, Instagram Live, make sure to follow me on Instagram Live. Uh, it's a lot of fun there. Uh, we do we talk about coffee, so it's a lot of fun. I'll uh, see you guys next time.